Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Title of our product is two 122 gigahertz phase lock loops in 65 nm CMOS technology. Abstract of our product is two 122 gigahertz phase lock loops have been uh, developed based on the 65 nm silicon CMOS technology and their performances were compared in this process. For the first PLL, a voltage controlled oscillator with the frequency doubled. If this is embedded into the oscillator core was employed into name as an PLL1, while the second PLL employs a push-pull voltage controlled oscillator. The output power of PLL1 and PLL2 were minus 8.6 and minus 21.9 dBm near 122 GHz obtained from DC power dissipation of 82.9 and 87.7 microvolt respectively. The respective locking range were measured to be 121.9 to 122.2 and 122.7 to 122.9 gigahertz for PLL1 and PLL2. It consists of a VCO and 1 by 2 rejection lock frequency divider and 1 by 152 current mode logic. They are denoted as an CML based divider chain and a falling edge base frequency detector and a charge pump and a second order loop filter. The main difference between the two PLLs is the voltage control oscillator st structure employed. A DEVO was adapted for the first PLL and push-pull weak voltage control oscillator was used for the second PLL. Now we are going to discuss about the flow diagram of our product. In our product we are using a different four model to implement our product successfully. The four models are failing edge base frequency detector, charge pump, old edge controlled oscillator and current mode logic functions. The reference input signal will be directly applied into the phase frequency divider. This phase frequency divider output will be applied into the charge pump. In this charge pump, they will uh, increase the charge of the frequency divider. The increased charge will be directly applied into the voltage controlled oscillator. The design of voltage controlled oscillators becomes increasingly the challenging as the operation frequency increases. The main use of voltage controlled oscillator is obtain the two major approaches to obtain the high order harmonics in oscillators. This obtained harmonic output will be directly applied into the injection locked frequency divider. This injection locked loop frequency divider obtain the highly reasonable low power consumption. This include the Miller divider and the static dividers. In this current mode logic will be run based on the conventional dual switch topology. This output of the conventional mode logic is on a final output of our product. Now we are going to discuss about the running procedure of our product. Our product can be implemented by using a Tanner EDA 13.0 version tool. First create a new, new schematic using this file menu. File to create a new design. Assign the design name on the desired path. As after assign the design name, click OK to continue our product design. After creating the new file, to add the library files using this add option. To select the library file path, this documentation file. 
to select the all files to open the all library files from this menu. After adding the library files, now you are visible the logic gates and uh, some spice elements, spice commands. Now start the schematic using the cell option to create a new view to assign the cell name or not in the they are assigned as a default cell 0 click ok to continue the design in our product we are using a two different cells they are named as a DE and push pull both are different uh, voltage control oscillators for a phase lock loopings now select a DE to set up the simulation files to start run our uh, product this is a library files of our path and we are using a generic 0.25 library file to select the library file after selecting the library files now assign the transient and Fourier analysis our stop time will be a 600 nanoseconds maximum time setup is on 1 nanoseconds print time setup is on a 0 nanoseconds they are initially assigned the false and uh, operation conditions after assign the setup simulation click ok to complete the simulation after complete the setup now start run using this start simulation option this is the output waveform of our DEPLL expand this waveform using this expand chart option this is the output of our product VQ bar and VQ is an output of our product and then V clock is an input clock signal V reference is an a reference input signal up down will be a denoted as an itself of our circuits now we are start simulate the second model of our push pull voltage controlled phase lock loop function now select the push pull and uh, set up the setup simulation default for an first model after selecting the library files assign the transient and Fourier analysis after set the setup simulation click OK to start simulate these waveforms and this is an useful uh, voltage control oscillator output waveform expand this waveform they are all the output of our product V clock is an input clock signal V reference is an input reference signal VQ is an output signal, VQ bar is an inverse of our output signal. This is an a town operation, this up operation, this is a frequency divider function. Thank you for watching this video.